Hello everyone and welcome to a new marketplace asset that I have created which basically is a compass on row location system. What does this mean? Well it basically means that you can easily add locations into a world and then uh, they're going to appear on your compass over here on your screen. So I can go quickly and click play here so you can see what I'm talking about. So you're going to get a screen compass over here and I can see that these icons have appeared which basically represent the locations that you added in. You can see as you rotate your screen, the compass is going to be uh, rotated around and the icons follow the direction uh, that they are uh, inside your game. So, for example, these ones, um, I can approach them. They are basically unknown locations. And once I enter their area, uh, they're going to tell me that I discover them and then they're going to disappear. So basically, this is good if you want to have discoverable locations in your game. Uh, and basically they just disappear of your game after you discover them. Other ones like over there, over here, they basically stay um, forever. So obviously through game code you can, uh, you know, remove them. Uh, but by default they're going to stay forever. And then there's one in the middle, if you remember, I add that. So let me just restart. Uh, which is there just a ping over here. And basically it's the timed um, compass... Uh, point of interest. So basically imagine that you have your game world and you're playing co-op and you want to basically um, add this in. Uh, you can for example spawn this and then after a couple of seconds it's going to disappear um, or you know if you just want a marker in your game that uh, you know it's uh, just for a, a specific amount of time. Now obviously this is uh, very good to see, but how, does, how do you set this up? Well, it's very simple. You can basically just go into your Blueprints folder here and just drag your Master PoE inside your game. Uh, this is basically your area uh, of interaction if this is set to be uh, removable after discovered. And you can just give it a name, you can give it an icon that appears over here, you can choose any icon you want. I'm going to choose this one that already comes with the engine. This is the visibility, so by default it's 300 meters, which you can basically, you know, set. For example, if you only want your icon to be seen, for example, 20 meters away, uh, you can set that up. Now this is your icon scale. Now I like to use 1.5 and 2. Uh, basically 1.5 is if you're really far away and 2 is when you are the closest to it. It basically just scales a little bit so you know the icons further away are a little bit harder to see. And this is uh, the time removal variable. So for example you can set 10 seconds here or 15 and if this is set to time removal after the 15 seconds it's going to disappear after the game starts. Uh, I'm just going to do remove after discover there. Uh, you can set uh, the collision whatever size you want. I'm just going to do something like this and put it over here in the back. And I'm just going to give it a name. So I'm just going to do example area. And that's everything you need to do. Now you click play. And if you spawn in, you wait a couple of seconds. Now you can see uh, that your icon appears over there. And now you can just go over. Once you enter the area, it's going to say you discover the example area and then it disappears. Um, but then you want to know, well, uh, how do you add this to my character? It's also super easy. I have this example uh, character here, but it works uh, with any character or pawn. So you just double click that open. Uh, and now you can see that the character only has the default movement stuff from Unreal, doesn't really have anything else. The only thing that it has, it's this uh, component here. You can just go over here, add component, uh, search for a compass and add that in, compile and save and it, that's everything that you need to do. Um, and if you want to change the visuals of everything, uh, for example, you can open these widgets here, for example, the compass, uh, you can change the texture on how it works, uh, you can change the color, uh, you know, do whatever you want. If you have your own texture, just take a look at my default texture here and just make sure that it is of the same size so everything matches up. Uh, you can also change, you know, for example, the discovery widget. I just used plain text, but you can do whatever you want, um, obviously. And yeah, that's it. So it's super easy to set up. Uh, it's quick and it, I think it's very... Um, you know, customizable in a way that you can, you know, do whatever you want with this. Because remember, this is just a base actor that you put into your world. So basically, uh, I, I have this during gameplay, but for example, uh, let's imagine you start a new mission and you want to spawn an objective marker. All you need to do is spawn this uh, master uh, PoE, uh, fill out its information. For example, let me go over here and just use the spawn node, so spawn actor from class. And if I set up my compass here, or sorry, my master PoE, 
Uh, now you can see that when you use this, these uh, variables that appear over here in the details panel, they're also going to appear over here. So you just need to set up that information here and spawn it. And once you spawn it, uh, they are going to automatically appear in your compass. You don't need to do any extra code. The only thing that defines what appears in your compass is the existence of these uh, POEs in your level. So if you want, for example, to remove one, you can just get it, uh, for example, using get all actors of class, just get its return value and do destroy actor. And once you destroy this actor on your code, uh, the entire um, thing is going to disappear from your game world and from your compass as well. Which is basically what I'm doing over here on the time removal, I'm just basically destroying this actor. So yeah, that's it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have any further questions, let me know and I'll be happy to respond with that. And thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.